Our first game in charge for the new Kilmarnock manager Lee Clark after some success with Huddersfield Town. He had less successful spells at Birmingham City and Blackpool. Could he get off on the front foot at Kilmarnock? The early signs were promising. Josh McGuinness looked like he was in the mood. Kevin Holt cleared the danger. And there would be more menace from McGuinness soon after. Dundee unable to get the ball clear. But Holt again doing enough to foil the Northern Ireland international who fired into row H or thereabouts. Clark keen to get his point across and Kilmarnock continued to dominate the first half. Gary Dicker with the effort over the bar. Next, a free kick from Craig Slater and a great save from Scott Bain to prevent Kevin Holt from turning into his own net. The killy chances kept coming. McGuinness unable to get enough on this header. But he'd get plenty on this one. Nick Ross clearing off the line at the back post as Dundee survived the game. So plenty of positives for Lee Clark, but no goal. Dundee's big chance in the first half would be created by Greg Stewart. His pass found Rory Loy. His shot was deflected over the bar by Lee Hodson. So, nil-nil the score at half-time. In the second half, Dundee set about creating more chances. Kane Hemmings neatly set up Paul McGowan, whose shot was well saved by Jamie McDonald. And life was about to get busier for the Killy shot-stopper extraordinaire. Kane Hemmings has scored 18 goals this season for Dundee. For a moment, that looked like becoming 19. But McDonald did well to get a strong hand to keep it out. The time almost up. Dundee almost nicked it. Darren O'Dee with the first header. His central defensive partner, Thomas Conrad, with a header just wide of the post. And it finished 0-0. 